Birthday Toast by Mickey Shelton. The characters, Chuck, played by Jeff Zucker, is a good-humored veteran senator. Ryan, a prominent Republican leader, is played by J.P. Perpich, and I'm playing Lisa, an incisive retired senator. Mid-afternoon at a bar somewhere in the eastern U.S., Chuck and Lisa are at a table drinking beers. There is no one else in the bar except the bartender. I thought he was going to meet us for lunch. So where is he? Who, Ryan? No, the president. Of course, Ryan. Probably holed up someplace. It's not easy composing a toast for the president's birthday. <laughs> Glad I didn't have to do it. He's trying to hold it together. You don't think he hates him? Sure he hates him. Yeah, because that son of a bitch in the White House is going to take the whole party down with him. Our friend's hanging in there, though. He's going to toe that line. He's going to... He wants a Supreme Court seat. I mean, not the one they just got. The next one. That? And, and... he's going to go down with him. I'm telling you, he's going to go... seems down. likely... But he's a smart cookie, and he's worked a long time for his position, and he's... The consummate diplomat. And that's what he'll be. Diplomatic? He'll say something that doesn't dig the, deep, hole, the hole deeper, that no one can criticize, right or left, something that leaves his hands clean, and when it's all over, he'll come out. smelling like a rose. <laughs> so you think. It won't sound like either he's sucking up to the base or appeasing the establishment. He knows the man's gonna go down. But that hasn't happened yet, and so he's... He's Biden this time. He's gonna... He's saying things so innocuous that he, no one can criticize him. And he's gonna frame it in a way that allows him to walk it all back later. You think so? If you were in his shoes, what would you say? <laughs> I'd get myself a new pair of shoes. I'd say my fucking feet hurt, and I have to leave and get an operation the way that Chaffetz did. And I'd <laughs> goddamn stay away until after the birthday celebration. <clears throat> okay. What you got? You got me a beer? All right. <clears throat> right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Happy birthday, Mr. President. As you know, I was once a critic of you, and I said some things that I now regret. I appreciate you accepting my apology. Having seen you in office, I see that you are a man of action. That's just who you are, and uh, becoming the 45th President of the United States, you have rewritten the rules of politics. <laughs> you promised to make America great again. And now, throughout the world, we... We, uh... We're fucking laughing stock. <laughs> That's not what I wrote. Oh, go back to it. Yeah. All right, hold on, hold on. You promised to make America great again, and now throughout the world we have gained the respect and admiration of our allies and adversaries alike. Come on, Ryan. What the hell am I supposed to do? <clears throat> Let me finish. A businessman, always willing to challenge convention, you have shaken up Washington and laid out an agenda of generational proportion. This is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Generational proportions, future... Gen he doesn't understand. He doesn't understand this anything. This was the guy. Constitution. I told you. I, I, I told... At some point, I told you to get out before it's too late. You think it's too late? Go on. Keep reading what you wrote. Cuts to Medicare? You, th you think we're going to win the next election if we lose the old white guys? Look, all I wanted was to return to traditional Republican values, a kinder, a gentler party. Only I'd actually do it. I, w I was reluctant. Yeah, you know that, right? I was reluctant to support him and to take on this job, as you know. And I 
I felt like, you know, just God damn it, we just need a, a leader in this damn party, someone who just has some principles. <laughs> someone who, so, I, I, ah, Jesus, he praises autocrats, he refuses to denounce the KKK for Christ's sake. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right, all right, let's take a breath. Bide your time, get it together. Okay. You understand that our number one responsibility is to protect the homeland. And that's why you have... That's why we, we are... That's why you are doing everything you can do to start a fucking war with anybody, somebody. It always unites the country. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck! God damn it. An idiot child. Who the hell would want to wish you a happy birthday anyway, you vacuous, arrogant, narcissistic, misogynistic, pig ignorant, racist? Fuck! <laughs> Tweeting, trigger happy, internet trolling, hate crime encouraging, tax evading, dictator worshipping, xenophobic, Putin licking, violence inciting, vindictive asshole! You pussy grabbing, party obliterating, four year old pathological liar, and you are the worst ever at making any kind of a deal! <laughs> oh, God, that felt good. <laughs> Let me ask you something. How do you live with yourself? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> so what are you going to do? I'm going to give my speech. What do you think I'm going to do? Don't look at me that way. End of play.